What is going on guys? It is the Coaster Battleman here bringing you an awesome video. The story of how I became a coaster enthusiast. My first coasters are revealed in this video. There are several coasters I have ridden throughout the course of my life and I want to keep riding some more and I want to keep up the good work of this channel and see how I can get better with my channel. You guys should be done in the comments below what type of videos I should make next. Like maybe I could do another Q&A. And these are my first coasters revealed. Here are my here's my start of coasters. When I was a very young kid, I used to go to Six Flags Great America a lot with my dad and I didn't really ride too many coasters because I was kind of small, but I didn't really here, I loved riding roller coasters. I, my first coaster was the Wizard, a classic Schwarzkopf coaster. My first looping coaster was the Demon. First wooden coaster was Viper. Florida. Now I'm talking about Florida. I went to Florida for three years in a row for a vacation. Is I know my home park has been Six Flags for America my whole life. I know I went to SeaWorld Orlando, all four Disney World parks in Busch Gardens, Tampa, when I went to Florida for all three years. The first two, I went to the Disney World parks and Busch Gardens, Tampa, and SeaWorld Orlando the second time. Like, I got to ride the Rock and Roller Coaster, Cheetah Hunt, Scorpion, and Expedition Everest are the four major coasters I know I've ridden. But I was too short to ride Manta or Sheikra or any of those B&M coasters at Busch Gardens Tampa and SeaWorld. But I want to head back to Busch Gardens Tampa and SeaWorld Orlando so I can ride their big coasters. And I still want to ride Manta, which is a coaster I desperately wanted to ride when I was at um, SeaWorld Orlando. But unfortunately, I couldn't ride it. But I... At one point in time in 2013, I had a fear of flying coasters due to the fact of facing down towards the ground and I thought the restraint wasn't able to strap me in and I wasn't used to the flying position of Superman Ultimate Flight. Unlike your standard b and invert Batman the Ride or a classic wooden coaster or the Demon, I wasn't really used to the seat configuration with four people in a row. I wasn't really used to that yet, so I wasn't really, for once I had a fear of coasters, but in 2014 I got over my fear of flying coasters that I had in 2013, plus I was tall enough to ride these coasters with 54 inch height requirements, and I went to Busch Gardens Williamsburg in 2014, rode all their coasters, it was before Tempesto and their new GCI opened. I gotta get back to Busch Gardens and ride Tempesto, their new GCI for 2017, and their other coasters. Hershey Park, I got to ride their big three Intamin coasters, their Vekoma Boomerang, Super Duper Looper, Great Bear. But unfortunately, I couldn't ride really any of their wooden coasters, which kind of stinks. I wish I got the chance to ride Lightning Racer, but... I only stayed half a day at Hershey Park, so which did kind of stink. And my experience on Skyrush was very forgettable. That's why it's not in my top 20 coasters, because my experience was very forgettable. And I got over my fear of flying coasters, like I just said. 2015, I only went to three amusement parks, Michigan's Adventure, my home park, Six Flags Great America, Six Flags St. Louis, and it wasn't the biggest amusement park year. I got to go to the two Six Flags parks that are closest to my house. And I got to go to a new park, Michigan's Adventure. I haven't been to a Cedar Fair Park until this point in 2015, in August of, of 2015. Michigan's Adventure, I got to get used to what a Cedar Fair was like. It was a pretty cool experience. I really liked Michigan's Adventure due to being a nice, clean park. It's nice and small. The water park is fun. And let's move on to 20, or the next thing. This is my start of YouTube. In August of 2015, I started to watch some of Coaster Studios' top 10s, and I watched the channel's videos ever since, which is amazing. 
I'm a big fan of Coaster Studios' YouTube channel. I tried to meet him at Six Flags Great America this year, but I couldn't, which does kind of stink. But So I decided to make my own YouTube channel, The Coaster Battleman. I would be an amusement park battle channel. In my early success of my channel, I made amusement park battles, and that was what I was already known for. Through the course of my channel's history, I started to watch some coaster countdowns from Canada Coaster Fan, which he made some great coaster countdowns, and he still is a great YouTuber. I still watch to this day, and he's subscribed to me as I am subscribed to him. And then I saw some YouTube videos from Coaster Stream since like early 2016, late 2015, I think. I subscribed to him, which is pretty amazing. He also subscribed to me back. Amazing YouTuber. And towards May of 2016, I subscribed to Coaster Kids. The Coaster Kids, they're not like the standard Coaster YouTube channel where you make a slideshow top 10. A vlogging YouTube channel. They're actually a YouTube channel known for their vlogs where they video it at amusement parks. Like, they go to parks all over the country and stuff. It's a pretty cool YouTube channel I watch. And let's go to the complaints about my YouTube channel. I know some people don't agree with me on some of my YouTube videos, but in my early success of videos, the only complaint about my videos was that they were known for having some of the worst quality ever due to me moving my tablet or phone camera while I was making a video because I was trying to, you know, type my, you know, not type, but I was going to move on to the next slide of a video, but it couldn't work. It couldn't work, but then I showed my friend Billy the problem recently. It was a few months ago when the summer started, I believe. And he showed me this app called VideoPad, but it was kind of too hard to use. And it would take forever to make my videos doing that. Like, I'd only be able to make like a once a week a video. Then I heard a comment from this YouTuber called Mario Man. I forgot the, the last four letters or numbers that I could use QuickTime Player for my videos and, I, and my quality would be a lot better. QuickTime Player, I recommend you use it. If you're a smaller YouTube channel, I recommend you use QuickTime Player on your Mac. And I found QuickTime Player on my Mac and have been using QuickTime ever since. That comment from Mario Man, I thank him for that. If he didn't tell me that, I probably would not be do, you, using QuickTime Player. I'd be using my tablet or phone to videotape. 2016 Parks. This year, I got to go to two new parks that were Cedar Point and Kings Island. I haven't been to these two parks before until now. I really wanted to go to Cedar Point for all, since like 2014. I couldn't go that or 2015, but in 2016 I got my chance and I felt like that was the perfect year to do it. I got to ride Val Raven, Millennium Force, Top Thrill Dragster, Maverick, Gatekeeper, several of those great coasters, and Kings Island, where they're known for Banshee, Diamondback, and The Beast. I want to head back to both these parks sometime soon. I also got to go to Six Flags St. Louis, like I have for the past few years, and my home park, Six Flags Great America as I always do each year. And then the last park I'm going to for the five parks I go to all, all year list is Michigan's Adventure. And my future goals for my channel. My goal for this channel is to have 100 subscribers by the end of 2016. 100 subscribers. Currently, I believe I only have like 65 subscribers or 64. But, uh, but it's been my YouTube channel's almost a year old now and I want to think of some new ideas for my channel leave down in the comments below guys what type of videos I should make for you guys should I make another Q&A what should I make thank you for watching stay tuned for more videos